This is a TrapCon free beat. The link is down below in the description. Welcome back bros to another video review. Today I have the opportunity to take a look at a flashback toy in my flashback series, Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Morbius. As for the contents inside of the packaging, we get Morbius himself and he comes with two important accessories, the TVA pruning stick and also the TVA time temp pad. As for the details on this Marvel's Mobius figure, I must say I feel like Hasbro has hit a home run because this figure is pretty accurate in my opinion. Just checking out the face of Mobius, uh, it looks pretty good. I do see resemblance of the actor who played him and I think it's not bad. When it comes to the body of this figure, it is a traditional suit molded figure. Now, I don't remember all the suits being open like this, but I do think this suit right here or body mold is actually pretty good for Mobius because not only that, he has the tie that's sticking out from his suit, which is pretty cool. It looks definitely like it did in the show. And then check that out. He also has the TVA belt buckle on his belt. So that's pretty cool and slick by Hasbro. I like that. In addition to that, check out Morbius shoes, man. I feel like Hasbro has did an excellent job on the shoes, man. The shoes is just nice, man. They're sleek. They're shiny. They look like they're real shoes. They're not like regular uh, silhouette black boots or shoes or whatever they normally do. But those are very good because they were attentive to the details on this figure and what Morbius was wearing in the Loki TV series. As for the articulation on this figure, it's pretty much the same what we get with all Marvel Legends. The arm rotates a full 360. It has a upper bicep swivel. As you can see, it has double jointed elbows, which is always good. The hand can hinge out. It can also go straight and hinge in. The head can rotate left and right. It's on a ball joint. Look up that high, down that low. Well, yeah, down that low. Um, it does have a upper uh, waist swivel, so you can get him and those dynamic um, twisted abdomen uh, poses. Also has a upper thigh swivel, as you can see. The knee is also double hinged, so if you keep bending, you can get him in that posable. Uh, I don't know if you want him in that pose, but that's up to you. The foot right here, uh, it does not swivel, but... I mean, it, it, yeah, it doesn't swivel, what I'm trying to say. And then it does rock left, right, forward, and back a little bit. So you get a little bit of range of motion in that. And that's pretty much all we get with Marvel Legends. So let's go ahead and continue the review. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories in which Morbius has came with. So first off, we're going to take a look at his first accessories. Here we have the... Pruning time branch stick as what I call it. Basically what he does, he uses this right here when he comes into a time variant criminal or somebody that looks to harm him. He whips out this stick and he uses it as a weapon like a taser. But instead of zapping them, he basically vanishes them from this timeline. Yes, there are timeline variants, so they're not gone forever, but at least from that timeline they have been pruned. Um, it is that blast effect compatible. So if you got blast effects from other uh, toys, you can definitely plug it on to give it some funky and some wonky appearances, even though it didn't look like this. When he pruned somebody, the blast effects sort of look like this. And this right here is came with a transformer, but unfortunately it doesn't stay on. If it stayed on, 
this would be incredible but like i said when you hold it sideways it just falls off so it is blast effects compatible guys if you got some so this is the first accessory and now let's check out the more important accessory in my opinion because this is what makes this a morbius figure and very important in case you're collecting the whole series of the low-key figures so here we have the tva temp pad as you know this is an important feature if you watch the show i'm not going to expound on it too much because i don't want to spoil anything but this is a device that allows him to go in time to also uh hunt down and track uh time variant criminals and also do give them some tva justice and communicate with other uh people in the tva like a com link or like a uh, a phone or a a tablet or whatever So to start it off, here we are with the comparisons with the first figure, which I want to do is He Who Remains. This is a figure I've already reviewed. So if you want to check out that review, click the little link in the right hand corner that says He Who Remains Review. With that being said, both figures look good. Morbius looks good with He Who Remains. Check out the shoes on both figures, man. See, this is what I was telling you about with the Morbius figure in the detail section. Hasbro is hitting home runs when it comes to the shoes of what the characters wore in the Loki series. Uh, just looking at the clothing, the clothing, they always do a good job. The head sculpts, the attention to details on the hands, and also the accessories. So as you see right here, these two look good together. And let's continue the comparisons with this Marvel Morbius figure. So here we are with my final comparisons, and here we have Marvel's Morbius compared with other Marvel Legends figures that I have on my desk that I bought out for comparisons. So you can see the different type of body types and the different type of uh, stylistic details. And not only that, I have a builder figure so you can see the size of Morbius compared to a builder figure. As you see right here, guys, the Marvel Legends, they do a terrific job, right, with these figures. Unfortunately, besides making poses, there's not really much we can do with these things, but they do look awesome and they definitely represent the comic book heroes and the actors that we see on TV and in movies. And I think Hasbro is continuing to do an awesome job. So before I get ready to wrap up this review, I want to take a look at the actor's likeness who plays Marvel's Morbius and the low-key Disney Plus TV series. So that actor is no other than Owen Wilson. Now just checking out the picture of Owen Wilson compared to the toy, you definitely can see a lot of similarities in the head sculpt on this figure. And I think Hasbro is getting better each and every year making these head sculpts for the figures. Unfortunately, that is a way of getting us to rebuy a character that we already have because the face scanning technology is getting better every minute so with that being said this definitely reminds me of owen wilson who plays the actor and he has a body type so hasbro in my opinion has got that down pat so now we reach the portion of my review where i like to do the yeah bro figure pickup or the figure pass segment of my video review where i get to share my opinions and my thoughts on this figure in efforts to help inform you before you make a purchase on this figure to get the pros and the cons and ultimately helping you deciding on what you would like to do as you just saw the content I just reviewed for you. As for me guys, this is a definite pickup because I am really enjoying the Loki Disney Plus uh, TV series and I must say, this figure definitely looks like Owen Wilson, and the, the face sculpt is definitely pretty darn good, in my opinion. Not only that, the molding on this figure, uh, to be honest, I do think is a reuse of the suit moldings that we've gotten in the past, but the way that this one is painted, it looks brand new. But what I will tell you is, I do believe the shoes are brand new on this figure, so it's somewhat a, a semi-new mold. Uh, so it's actually pretty good and then the playability and the execution on this figure Like I said, it did uh, definitely resemble Owen Wilson 
And then you also have the playable accessories that comes with it, man. So you can interact Morbius's actions as what he was doing with the TVA and trying to be that time variant uh, investigator to help solve problems in the show. But like I said, guys, that's just a little bit. I'm not trying to spoil it for you. But yes, if you happen to see this figure and you don't have him, he is definitely a pickup in my opinion. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of this figure, I got my copy from my local Target store because it was a Target exclusive when it re was released over about a year ago. So if you're interested in picking it up, the Target link is still active, but it's out of stock. So maybe there's hope that it will come back in stock. So the link will be posted below and I will also post an Amazon link just in case he isn't available up there for you to purchase. Ultimately, I end up getting this figure on clearance for $6.99 plus taxes, but the original retail for this figure when it came out was $19.99 plus taxes. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support, and not only that, positive feedback as a YouTube content creator. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video. And until next time, yeah, bro, I'll see you soon. And wait, guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can be informed once I have uploaded a new video for you to check out at your own time. Thank you.